Huh. So this is Storm Terror's lair. Hmm. From which direction will Storm Terror appear, I wonder? Um, excuse me. Who's there? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry, I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I apologize as well. I acted on force of habit. You must be a local, yes? My name is Sino, and I'm here sightseeing in Mondstadt. In truth, it is I who am disturbing you. Um, might I ask if you're looking for something here? I'm waiting for Storm Terror to arrive. You even set up a camera. Yes. I hope to capture a good picture as reference material for an artist I know. Oh. In that case, let me help keep watch too. From what I've heard, Storm Terror's movements have some regular schedule. Hmm. Roughly how often does it appear? Uh, hold on. I'll have to check against our data first. Let me consult my notes. Hmm. Um, Mr. Sino, sir, are you going to stand there staring into the sky the entire time? Don't worry, I'm quite strong. My neck can take it. No, no, I, I mean, you should sit down. I, I brought a blanket. Here, you can borrow it. I'll be all right. Oh, um, okay. Well, huh, weird. Now I'm staring up into the sky too. I've heard that Cecilia has only grown remote spots at high altitude, and that you're unlikely to ever see one unless you go looking for it. Though they can be preserved for a long time as specimens, I can't take back the beauty they possess in the wild. It's a shame. Shall I ask Sucrose to develop a Cecilia variant with improved soil adaptability for you? I should warn you though, it may very well end up with a name like... Tetratanic Ananimo Cecilia, or perhaps Epsilon Series Cecilia Variation 601 Sumeru Growth Type. Is this you attempting to tell a joke? Unfortunately not, I'm being completely serious. In that case, I look forward to... well, whichever of those two it ends up being. Back to our previous topic. If you wish to use antitoxic compounds from calla lilies in an antidote, then I have a few suggestions. Tainari was here, he'd be able to tell you its scientific names, species, and behaviors. But, as for me, all I can tell you is it isn't a species we have in Sumeru. Oh? Then what kinds of birds do you have in Sumeru? Dust birds! They have the most beautiful, vibrant colors! The feathers on their chest are the color of ripe sonsidias, and their wingtips are the color of tender mint leaves. They're not too skittish around people, and at my tree hop, I mean this tree that I often go past. There's a dusk bird there that always looks at me like it understands what I'm saying. I once picked up one of its feathers from the ground. It felt really nice. You have keen observation skills and a love for living things. You'd be better served directing your energies there rather than sighing and whining all the time. <sighs> Eula says things in the most awkward way possible sometimes. Just ignore the second half, Kali. No, it's fine. I know what she means. She does have a point. Are you hungry for fish? I see quite a few over there. Sounds like someone's up for a fishing contest, huh? Fair warning, though. I won't lose. Seriously? Another competition? I thought we were supposed to be sightseeing. Uh, but still, wait for me. Oh, hey there, Traveler. Nice to see ya. <laughs> well, Sino's out of the country on a trip, so he got me to come and help his subordinates take care of a few things. I guess you can say I'm his temporary substitute. The atmosphere around here is not too bad nowadays, so I don't mind sticking around once in a while. You've probably got a lot going on yourself, I bet. Good luck with everything. Sataria, you should take a break and have a bite to eat. Sataria? Ah, uh, thank you. 
Sorry, I was completely absorbed in what I was doing. I didn't even hear your voice. Oh, it's all right. I'm glad that you enjoy the work you're doing. Sorry you've ended up having to babysit me. I'm sure you have far more important things to do. Well, Rahman's busy with the Eremites these days. But having me stand in as your bodyguard must be a welcome breath of fresh air for you. It's a change for me, too. My first time working as a bodyguard. I'm just treating it as a chance to get a taste of Dia's line of work. I tried telling Mahamatra Sino that I can work unsupervised. Really, this ought to be the last of his worries. He said that educators willing to work in the desert are an extremely rare breed, so I need a bodyguard for protection at all times. I think he's being a little overprotective. But, at the end of the day, that's why we know we can count on the General Mahamatra. He and I are of the same mind in this case, so I am very happy to protect you. While you're in our village, we're partners. We don't want to cause you any unnecessary pressure, so please, try to enjoy your time here.